Hey guys, so it's time here to check out the official iOS 7.1 final here for the iPhone 5. Uh, so it's available, of course, uh, on, all I new, uh, on all iPhones that can handle iOS 7. So this is the iPhone 5, as you can see down here. And uh, some interesting things here in the back. Yeah, I bought it from a friend, so... And the reason why I start up the video by booting it up is because I want it, I want people to be able to see the speed here. Okay, there we go. You can see the brand new slider down there. Uh, it has a different animation. You can see the new lockdown screen here, which also looks pretty cool which fades away. Uh, we do, of course, have some other things as well. Green is a little bit darker on the phone app, uh, up there on the messages, and on the FaceTime logo there or icon uh, compared to uh, earlier. Uh, some other new additions here. Let's just go and see the speed here. I mean, one of the speeds that they've done is the animations when you go in and out of things. Uh, that's something that you definitely will notice. Here I'm inside of the browser as well, so you just have Apple's little website over here. Which looks pretty cool. And very, very smooth and all, but look at this. Look at this speed. Very, very nice speed. And we have things like the clock app looks exactly the same. Uh, we should have tw some tweaks inside of the ca calendar. Uh, overall, some minor tweaks here uh, that you can definitely take a look at if interested. Uh, you also have some tweaks inside of here. No missed notifications, some text there. Uh, you have a lot of bounce effect here when you bring up the control center. Kabam! Uh, one app that has been changed is the dialer, more rounded off icons and a little bit more bolder text, I'm pretty sure. And uh, also when you're calling people, you can see that call thing, this one switches, and just more rounded off design. Which could be good to know there. Uh, we do have some other things as well like passcode is now in the root of the settings app so easier to access or quicker at least to to access over here uh, if you go into general and accessibility you also have some new additions like button shapes uh, you do have increased contrast with reduced white points so you can dim the screen a little bit of course you do have the normal brightness as well on and off labels here uh, and reduced motion uh, bold text. I mean, when you when you start it off, it, it put it on. It doesn't have to reboot the device, if I can recall, or at least not turn it off, if I do remember that correctly. Hmm. This, yeah. Let's see here. So you can see bolder text here now on uh, on uh, the text. But let's say I would like to disable that. I don't think you have to respring the device now. Hmm, okay, we do have to do that still. Uh, you also have the keyboard text, which is bolder, and the, the shift key is a little bit different when you double tap it. As you can see here, bolder text. Looks pretty awesome, I would say. And this one, double tap, looks also a little bit different. And I'm not sure if this was available in um, in iOS 7.0 because I've used 7.1 for so long, but search web and Wikipedia here options, of course, when you search something in the, in the spotlight there, uh, which could be good to have an access to. Siri voices should also be a little bit updated overall. And at least if you have like the UK voice and Australian voice, I think those were that ones updated. What are you doing today, baby? Trying to guess what you want me to do. What is 2 plus 2? Let me think about that. The answer is 4. 
that is like great. So you can know, of course tap on this little icon down here to get a proper view of what you can do here uh, with, with certain things you can say. Uh, so yeah, quickly look here at this app and uh, we also might just take a look here at of course the, the camera app still seems to be sharing the same kind of features uh, where you can just go to the side here to do square, to do panorama effect. Wow, panorama effect was slow there. And of course you have these all different filters that you can enable, disable. So yeah, quickly look here at the update at final iOS 7.1, final for the iPhone 5. Hopefully you did enjoy. Peace out.